Now, welcome back to your Carolina Living Upstate, taking a field trip here to the electric city of Anderson. And yes, we are in a vintage arcade, the Upstate's only vintage arcade and ice cream parlor. That's it. Uh, CNC ice cream and, uh, and arcade. Thank you so much, Scott, for having us in today. Awesome. Good to have you, Mark. Yeah. So tell me about this. This started as an obsession of oh. collecting these games, and the obsession has gone out of control. But now the public can benefit from it. Yeah. I mean, I was an '80s kid. I mean, you know, the, the whole Stranger Things vibe. I'm like, I lived that. You know, that was me growing up. You know, <laughs> growing up in the arcade. Brother had the Trans Am, would drop me off, and you know, give me ten dollars and I was happy. But yeah, um, times, right? that's right. And this this was all my childhood. So everybody else has NESs and GameCubes and this was my childhood. Mm -hmm. So it got to where just as a as a hobby, I would collect and restore and find one that needed a little tweaking and get it back going. And then I'd flip them, make a little money. And it got to where I was like, I'm going to keep this one and I, I'll <laughs> keep this one. And you know, it got to where I had about 10 or 12 in the garage. And uh, my wife is like, what are you going <laughs> to do with all this stuff? You know, you're a hoarder. And I was like, no, it's a hoarders keep things that don't work. You know? Your collector. Please, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so we thought about opening my arcade by itself, and, and this was pre-COVID. You know, this was 2019, mm -hmm. and we're like, I don't know if an arcade can make it by itself. And my son over there said, Well, everybody loves ice cream, they so do. we're like, ice cream arcade, and we just kind of started playing with it and started doing some drawings on on paper, and here we are. So yeah, CNC, yeah, made it. And you guys are, it's, it's such a cool vibe. A lot of parties, you guys do birthday parties yep. and gatherings here. You're booked well, a lot of times for e that. Exactly, and it's parties of, of all ages. I mean, we've had 50-year-old birthday parties, 60-year-old <laughs> birthday parties, because everything here is 1978 to 2000. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we've we had from six to 66 parties. Yeah, so <laughs> we'll rent it out by the hour or just come in during the week, you know, weeknights or Saturday. We're closed Sunday for now. We can do some uh, parties on Sunday. But yeah, it, it's been working out good so far. I mean, this would be a kid's dream to be able to have ice cream over here and just get yeah. it all sugared up and then hidden the, all the games. Well, that's that's the plan. And, the, you know, we want to bring a venue back where you just come and hang out a while because there's no drive through. We want you to stay. We mm -hmm. want you to come and just, you know, do a lot of times you see the parents up here with coffee. They might play with you and the kids are back there. <laughs> so they just get a little break, too, because the kids are taken care of. And so, yeah, it's it's a lot smaller area that you're not chasing all over the place and wondering where they went. But uh, And you yeah. have all the old TV shows uh, yep. playing on the screens there, so yep. it really takes you back. That's right. Yeah, we try to stream it, just kind of bring it back to, you know, maybe the 50s to the 80s, so the 50s in this area and the 80s in the back kind of thing. <laughs> right. Let's talk about the ice cream. Like, what? Nice. What, how many flavors do you guys have? So we normally keep about 22 to 24 flavors. Um, we've got, you know, 16 spots, so if you don't see what you want, you can ask. <laughs> we, we have three brands. We do Mayfield, Bluebell, and Kemp's, mm -hmm. so it's all hard scoop. Um, we have a few specialty shakes that we've come up with over over the period. Uh, we do one with banana pudding ice cream and peanut butter, and we call it the Elvis shake. <laughs> that's a big hit. Uh, cream sickles a favorite, which is orange sherbet and vanilla. So we can create your own, or we have a few that we that you know we've created. By I'm sure ourselves. people go crazy when they get get to create their own. They can. Oh yeah. Like <laughs> and, you know, it's kind of like in the Stranger Things where a lot of people want to sample every flavor, you know, and then they end up getting vanilla. So it's just kind of, you know. So that's how it happens, right? Yeah. So people can go online to, to book with you guys? Is it easy to call? And yeah, we're, again, we are we are on Instagram and Facebook, and we can do Messenger on both. They just call us. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we haven't done a website and really haven't missed it, you know, to be honest with you. So it's been, everything so far, so good. And what has been the uh, response from folks in Anderson so far? I mean, being the, the only one like this around people probably are going to come from Greenville Spartanburg yeah we, we have we've actually had and see we've got some some games that are you know pretty rare so we've had people come as far as as Charlotte you know to come down and just play the games mm -hmm. but yeah we are the party venue it seems like in Anderson <laughs> it's funny you think it's a summertime business but we have done really good in the fall and winter because we're not competing with outdoor activities right. like the lake and, and stuff. So uh, it's been a go-to during when it's cold and rainy, a lot of people like ice cream. Uh, ice cream year round, right? That's right. That's and you right. got the games and, the, and that whole throwback feel. So yep. we'll put a link uh, to CNC on our yep. website so you guys can go and book them for your next party. Come in and see you guys. You're located right here on the, the main strip heading into Anderson. So Yep, so Highway 81, you know, we're right beside Jimmy John's. You know, shout, shout out to them. So uh, it's very busy. You see out there a lot of cars going by. Oh, yeah. Right down the road from Hannah. So, yep. Well, best of luck with everything. Support right, a small, a family-owned business. Again, we'll put all that information for you at our website, livingupstatesc.com. Let's get some ice cream. Sounds good.